Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Edwin. Good evening. Good to see you. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry for uh, tonight. You know, yesterday, uh, very busy work. And, uh, yes, you were working yesterday, right? Yeah. I, yesterday, uh, sentía, ¿cómo se dice? I felt. I felt. I felt, uh -huh. I felt, uh, exploit my, my mind. <laughs> okay. But today you are in your house. You have your day off. Yeah, it's my day off. Okay. Tomorrow, good. yeah, is my day work. <laughs> okay. Yes, but remember that tomorrow we have the INSA for poll. So you, yeah. have to be, you have to be here. No problem. Uh, yesterday is a special case for uh, to, uh, today as a paro in Guatemala. Mm -hmm. uh, for, okay. for, for the, the elections, no. Sorry? For the elections or something. No, no. no uh, uh, it's, bueno, no sé cómo decir there, esto. There was a problem. Eh, no, es que había, estaban cerrando las fronteras, ah. eh, la carretera. Eh, ah, eh, ok. Yes, because of the COVID, ¿no? No, no. No, ah. estaban reclamando por otros problemas que tienen allá. Ah. En el país. Entonces okay. ellos cierran las carreteras y allá no trabaja nadie. Ok, like in El Salvador. Yes. <laughs> in El Salvador. We close, we, we block the streets and yeah. we go on strikes. Yeah. But, uh, but that is different uh, because it was the frontier. Yeah. No, uh, uh, que en el país trabaja la gente. <laughs> okay. Allá nadie trabaja. Ah, okay. Allá es un paro total de labores. Okay. Allá ellos son tan organizados que nadie the, trabaja. <laughs> the strike. Strike. Yeah. Okay. Very good. So good to see you here. We are, going, we are going to practice today a lot, believe it or not, uh, because hello, everyone. I can see your faces here. Welcome. Welcome. We are. Thank you. Tonight we are on the very well, on almost the last class. Today is the class 19. So that means uh, tonight, the class, tomorrow, another class, and we finish. Are you happy for that? No. Yes. Why not, yes. Oscar? Oscar is not happy. No. Why not? I'm shy. <laughs> Why? I was finished. Oh, no, but you can continue yeah. with the other module. The other module is number six, right? There are some people that maybe will continue and maybe there are some people that won't continue. But anyways, remember what I told you guys, you, you gotta make time because no, no pain, no gain. No. Sin esfuerzo, no hay progreso, okay? So we need to be, we need to be part of that percentage in El Salvador that changes the culture and inspire others, okay? So that is my recommendation to you guys. If you can continue studying, go ahead, continue studying, all right? Maybe you can have a, a, a promotion in your workplace or in your companies. Maybe, who knows, you can travel to another country meet new people. Imagine that, that you are single and you meet a an American woman or an American man and you get married, guys, you need to speak English. And of course, he or she needs to speak Spanish too, <laughs> right? So you, you gotta keep that in mind. English opens many doors, believe it or not, opens many doors and you can travel. That is a good thing. Well, the teacher likes traveling. So whatever country you go, you need English. For example, if you want to go to China, they say, eh, can you speak Chinese? No, I cannot. Okay, what about English? 
Uh, yes, a little bit, and then you use the language. That's why it's really important, guys. So that is my humble recommendation for you, to continue studying English, all right? So good evening, officially, we are about to start. And I want to remember you that tomorrow we have the last class and I want you everybody here. Okay, I don't know if you check the WhatsApp group. Uh, we have to have the cameras on, all right? The cameras on during the classes because it's going to be really important for the, the staff of Inglés Corporativo and Insafor to see your uh, faces and to check if you are present during the classes, all right? Remember that this is a, a big opportunity that I wish I could have had when I was studying English for the first time. So try to have your cameras on, even though you have your mics off, no problem, all right? But you need to be here, guys, okay? And also try to participate a lot, as much as you can. I want you to show me in these two last nights that we have here together that you can do more than better, okay? I know that you are smart and I know that you are perseverant and that you can do everything, okay? So please, tonight, everybody should have the cameras on and participation has to be very active. Tomorrow is the last day, is the last class. And therefore, we are going to have the InsaForce poll. La encuesta de InsaFor. Maybe to many of you uh, have arrived that notification that InsaFor is sending you the, the poll, but don't, don't do it yet, please. Don't do it. We are going to complete that until tomorrow during the class, all right? Because sometimes there are some students that have problems filling in the information. For example, you don't know what is the, what is the access or something. And tomorrow is going to be the day in which you and the teacher can complete that information together. So again, my recommendation is not to complete the InsaForce poll yet until tomorrow during the class. And yeah, tonight and tomorrow, it's extremely obligatory, mandatory for you to be here, guys. All right? So right now I'm going to pass the attendance list. Let's see, Alfonso Cabrero. Yes, present. Finally, finally, I could hear your voice again. Welcome. Opinion. Okay, thank you. All right. Anna Yancy. Present teacher. Carmen Lisset. Present teacher. Eh, Cesare Heriberto. Present teacher. Claudia Lorena. Not here yet. Okay. Eh, Danis. Present. Dolores. Not here. Eduardo. Eh, Edwin. Present teacher. Fidel. No. Karina. No. Katia. Present teacher. Logurdes. Present. Luis. Luis is not here. Okay. Nelson. Nelson? No? Oscar? Presente. Okay, and Susie? Susie not here yet, okay. All right, guys, <clears throat> we are about to start the class right now. And, well, in the meantime, that the rest of your classmates incorporate themselves to the class, we are going to have I'm going to have this presentation for you. And this is what we have. Look, we have the vocabulary practice. So as I mentioned at the beginning, we are going to have a vocabulary practice. The idea of this class is for you to know, to memorize or to remember some vocabulary that you already have, all right? And 
as I mentioned, this is the class number, uh, this is the class number 19, almost the last one. And uh, well, as I told you, we are going to recall the previous knowledge. What do you remember from the previous class? I sent you a video as a compliment yesterday night in the WhatsApp group. Did you check it? Did you watch the video yesterday night? No? Nobody, okay. So if I, if we have a quiz tonight about that video, everybody has how, how much? Zero or 10? Eight teacher, eight, okay, at least. So yeah, it's important for you to uh, check that video. It has a really good and important information about this topic. And as I said yesterday night, uh, these clauses sometimes can be difficult, but not impossible to learn. All right, so here again, I have this screenshot for a uh, from one of the last activities. And as you can see here, we have this chart. Yesterday, we were talking to Anayansi and she was commenting me, she was telling me uh, what can be an exact definition or difference between when and if, all right? So you have it here, right? And in this case, guys, uh, the, they have the, the similar meaning, almost a similar meaning, all right? So to remember, we use when for usual situations and if for unusual situations, okay? Both have to be in the present tense. You have to use a comma when if or when come at the beginning, but when they are in the middle, eh, that is not a problem. You don't need a comma, all right? So here again, we have some examples. You have here eh, a question form. What do you do when you forget your tools for work? Okay, you have when. Here you have if. What do you do if you miss the company transportation? All right. In this case, when is for something that is usual, something common, and if is for something that is not common. All right. And after that, you have the sentences structures. All right. And in this case, I ask for a backup, backup set when I forget my tools. I call a taxi if I miss the company transportation. When I forget my tools, comma, I ask for a backup set. If I miss the company transportation, I call a taxi, all right? So having this in mind, we are going to have this short practice about if and when. As you can see, we have here five sentences and these don't have the if or when, all right? So we are going to recreate those sentences using if or when, either at the beginning or in the middle, okay? So let's see, number one. Danis, can you help me reading number one, he? Yes, he meets mm -hmm. his worker where they can become really good friends. Perfect, thank you. Now guys, everybody as a class, can you give me a, what is the, where do I have to use if or when in this sentence? Where should be if or when in this sentence? At the beginning or in the middle? Where? If, in... okay. hmm? if, where should I write if? Can you tell me the complete sentence, please? Hmm. I have a question. Yes. Which 
the sentence? Which sentence? Uh, the number one, he meets his co-workers well. They can become really good friends. So in this case, we need a if or when to join the clauses, to join the sentences. We want only one sentence because here we have two in one separated yeah. by a dot. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. So can you tell me guys? Which one we are going to use? I think uh, the use if in, okay, he, he meets his co work as well. If they can become really good friends. Okay, you okay. have okay. if if in the middle, right, Oscar? Yes. Okay, do we have any other option, guys? Or do you agree with Oscar's answer? Yes, Lourdes, what's your opinion? Agree or disagree with Oscar? Mm. In, in the first, right? Yeah. In, in my case, I, I agree with Oscar. Okay. If in the middle. What about you? Thank you, Lourdes. We are going to continue discussing this, okay? If in the middle. I need a third opinion. One more opinion to have three and then we discuss. Maybe... I think... Uh -huh. Tell me. Yes, go ahead. Susie, go ahead. They they can become really good friends. Co-workers, well, they can become really good friends. Okay, can you repeat? Please? I think when... Repeat, please. When he meets Prepa, his co-workers, no, no, no. well, they okay. can become really mm -hmm. good friends. Okay, thank you, Susie, no, no. thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. So, Susie was saying that when, at the beginning, when, he meets his co-workers well, <clears throat> they can become really good friends. Okay, here we have another option. Aquí tenemos otra opción ya. Okay, ¿con cuál nos quedamos? What is the correct one? When he meets his co-workers well, comma, they can become really good friends. Or, uh, he meets his co-workers well if they can become really good friends. Carmen, you have the last verdict, like Doctora um, Ana Maria Polo, right? I guess that that is it. You are going to close the case right now. Carmen, tell me, what's your opinion? In my, ooh, in my opinion, the church, uh, he meets his coworker well when they can become really good friends. Mm, no, <laughs> no. Okay, let's see. What happens if I say, if he meets his co-workers well, comma, they can become really good friends. If, what about that option? ¿Qué hay de esa opción? If he meets his co-workers well, comma, they can become really good friends. Si él conoce a sus compañeros de trabajo bien, coma, ellos yes. pueden convertirse en muy buenos amigos. Yes. Okay, does it make sense? ¿Tendría yes. sentido así? Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, very good. Let's see number two. Okay, number two. Uh, let me see. Edwin, can you please help me reading number two exercise? Hey, teacher. Adri doesn't pay attention to class. She doesn't understand anything. Thank you, Edmund. Uh -huh, guys. What are your options for this sentence? If Which Audrey one? doesn't pay attention to class, comma, she doesn't understand anything. 
Okay, thank you, Carmen. Another opinion? Me, teacher. Go ahead. Audrey doesn't pay attention to class when she doesn't understand anything. Okay, thank you. Do we have another option, guys? I think like Carmen. Carmen, you agree with Carmen? Yes, yes. Okay, me too. I agree with Carmen. Lourdes, Carmen's right. Okay, Carmen's right. So the correct answer is if Audrey doesn't pay attention to class, what is the consequence for that? Well, she doesn't understand anything. All right. Thank you. Number three, can you please help me, Anayansi, reading number three? This one. Uh -huh. You are mute. You are mute. Excuse me, teacher. Luis gets to work early every day. Uh, he receives a bonus. Thank you, Anayansi. Thank you. All right, guys. Luis gets to work early every day. When? If, uh huh. Okay. When well, what Luis. Is, what, what is the full answer? Tell me, Carmen. Uh -huh. When Luis gets to work early every day, comma, he receives a bonus. Okay. Thank you. Another option. Uh -huh. Another option, guys. Mm. When? Okay, you agree with Carmen? What? Do you agree with Carmen? Do you think that Carmen has the correct answer? Yes. Okay. I think we can use about the beginning, when or if. I okay. think too. You can use the both ocean. The both, yes, I think. Exactly, exactly. Thank you. Thank you. You can both you can use both. All right. Uh, in this case, guys, I sing a song, I feel bored. I sing a song, I feel bored. Which one do we use? Mm-hmm. I sing a song, all right? I feel bored. What is bored? Aburrido. Aburrido. Mm -hmm. Okay. I sing a song when I feel bored. Exactly, that is a correct answer. Thank you, Lourdes. I sing a song when I feel bored. Thank you. So uh, the last one is, I prepare food I am hungry. What do we have for this one? When? when? Okay, tell me the full sentence, please. Prepare food when I am hungry. Okay, I prepare food when I am hungry. Thank you very much, guys. So this was uh, pretty much about the the recalling of the previous knowledge. I hope that you can continue practicing this. And well, we have a conversation. We are going to practice a conversation, but first you are going to listen to the teacher read the conversation and then you gotta practice with a partner in the breakup rooms, you know. So the conversation is between Mr. Ray and Ashley, all right? So pay attention, please. Um, good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hunk. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you first. And it's a pause, okay? Tenemos una pause. I'm going to read it again. And this is what I yes. what I expect from you. Esto es lo que yo espero de ustedes. <clears throat> espero que noten la diferencia de cómo lo leí anteriormente y cómo lo voy a leer en estos momentos, ¿okay? <clears throat> okay. 
Um, good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hong. Do you know the procedures and the rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you. First, okay, that's what I want from you tonight. Can you show me that you have that for tonight? Así de lindos los quiero escuchar. ¿Será que me lo demuestran esta noche en los breakout rooms por ser el, el quiero ver, el penúltimo, el penúltimo, salido, el penúltimo yeah. día? Uh -huh. Yes. Sure. Okay, I'm going to be checking you. I'm going to be checking you. Pobrecito de aquel que, que, no, que no esté practicando, ¿verdad? Porque nos va a llevar a, a, a la pizza mañana viernes, ¿ok? So, let's see. After you practice the conversation, you gotta complete these uh, questions in... Con el interactivo. Yes. Tell me, do you have a question? No? All right. So um, you gotta you gotta answer these questions in the in the breakup rooms with your couples. The question number one: Who is Ashley? All right. And the question number two: Who is the person in charge of introducing new employees to the company? All right. These two questions we are going to answer in the groups. All right. Um, did I, did I make myself clear? Me doy a entender lo que vamos a hacer? Yes? Or do you have any question? Yes, teacher. All right. So I'm going to send you to the breakup rooms right now. And we are going to practice a little bit. All right. Let me see. All right. You can join the rooms now. Guys, I need you to please join the breakup rooms. It's important to practice, remember. Yo voy a entrar, es que no sé por qué siempre me da problemas al ingresar con la oh. compu. Entonces, mientras ingreso, ingreso con el celular. Ah, ok. Ok, don't worry. Eh, no lo que quiero. Hello. Well, no problem. Okay. Mm, but voy a practicar con quién empiezo. Lourdes. I am Ashley. Ah, okay. I am Miss Ray. Okay. And you are Ashley Cesar. Okay. Okay, perfect. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? 
What about how to procure a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you first. Okay, okay. thank you. Uh, Cesar, the pronunciation for this word in the Ashley sport is request. Request. Request a permission. Request. Request a permission. Request. Yes. Mm -hmm. Request a permission. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Cesar, you now. Wait. Uh, me, Ashley. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're great. And, and that is Ashley. Okay. Good afternoon, Ashley. And welcome to your company. Thank you, Mr. Han. Do you know the pro... pro Procedures and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about who to request our permission? Sound good. I will explain them to you first. <laughs> okay. Okay. Finish the practice. Now answer the questions. Question. Yes. And. Ah, okay. Thank you. All right. Go ahead. Do you think it's correct? Yeah. Ashley is the new employee. Okay. Please. The second, who is the person in charge of introducing new employees to the company? Well, in this case, is Mr. Wright and new employees to the company. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe a representative of. ¿Cómo se dice alguien de recursos humanos? Someone from human resources. Human resources. Who is the person in charge of the company? ¿Pero ese es personal o es el acerca de la conversación? No, ¿quién es la persona a cargo de introducir a los nuevos empleados a la compañía? Ah, Quizás en general. ¿Qué? Yeah. I think it's that a human resource te contrata y te lleva. Página está la combi. Recuerde que cuando uno lo contrata, Retreat. Eh, le presenta. It's my imagination or you're speaking yes. Spanish. Sorry, teacher. Her imagination. <laughs> In English. Okay. Yes, it's my imagination. Maybe <laughs> it's because yeah. I am yes, hungry yes. tonight. Okay. Okay, okay teacher. Yes, yes. So, You're thinking in Spanish for that. <laughs> we say the dialogue. You practice the dialogue, the conversation. Yeah. Yes, okay. yes, we do. Okay, maybe you can practice once again. Okay, you switch. For example, Susie is Mr. Ray, and now Eduardo is Ashley. After that, uh, maybe Eduardo is Mr. Ray, and uh, let's see, Edwin is Ashley. After that, Susie, Mr. Ray, and then, yes. uh -huh, so you get the idea. Yes. We are going to finish in two minutes. Okay. We'll turn up. Okay, thank you. Okay, no sé si va, vamos a repetirlo. Um, no, number two. Who is the person in chains of introducing new employees to the company? And the answer is...
कोइस who is the person in charge of introducing new employees to the company es la persona que use the person is Okay, for example, uh, the person who introduced the, the employees is the boss, is the manager, or is human resources? Es la persona que... Human resource. Human resource. Yes, okay. human resources. But in this case, in the conversation, who is introducing the employees? Does it mention it? Yes or no? Mr. Wright. Mr. Wright. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, very good. So you say uh, we consider is Mr. Ray because probably he is part of the human resources staff. Yes, that can be a good option for an answer only mr ray yes mr ray you can have it like mr ray and you can include more details if you want you can include more details like the ones that i mentioned just a couple of seconds ago okay And now uh, we watch the videos. No, no, tonight no videos. The video that I mentioned before was the one that I sent yesterday night when we finished the class to the WhatsApp group. Okay. That is as a compliment. Okay. Okay, okay thank you. Good. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Han. Thank you, Mr. Han. Do you know the procedure and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you. First, okay. Okay. Dolores and Nelson, I need you to have your cameras on, please. Yeah. Or are you working? No. No, so please do me that big favor. Thank you. You are beautiful people, don't worry. Nobody's going to make fun of you. Lo que pasa es que por mi internet, cuando pongo la cámara, se me, se, me, se me pone más lento el internet si pongo la cámara, por eso es que la, la, lo quito. Ah, ok. ¿Y can you uh -huh. maybe go online from a computer, Dolores? Sí, en computadora. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. yeah, but, but just for tonight and tomorrow, don't worry. Tonight and tomorrow, and, that, and this is over, don't worry. But yeah, I don't know if you check the, the message that one member of Inglés Corporativo sent to the group. They were asking the students to have the cameras on in these sessions, all right? So yes, tonight is mandatory to have the cameras on and participate, okay? Okay. Okay, so okay. we are going to finish the activity right now. Let's go back to the main room. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay, thank you.
Okay, guys. So let me see. Here we have the conversation. You are going to show me what you got for this. Let's see, I'm going to choose at random two students, uh, Carmen and Oscar. Carmen and Oscar. Carmen is Ashley and Oscar is Mr. Ray. Okay. Let's start. Good afternoon, Ash Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, no yet, sir. Okay. Where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you. First, okay, to be continued. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Now, uh, let me see. Let me see another participant, Edwin and Susie. Edwin, Mr. Ray, and Susie is Ashley. Okay, let start. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. We are not to the procedures and rules of our company. No, not yet, sir. Okay. Where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? That's good. I will explain then to you first. Okay, thank you. The last couple is Eduardo and Lourdes. Lourdes, you are Ashley and Eduardo, Mr. Ray. Okay. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, no yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you first. Okay, to be continued. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Uh, let me see. After this, we have two, two questions, right? Claudia. What is the answer for question number one? Can you please help me reading the question and giving me the answer? Uh, who is Ashley? She is new to the company. Okay, she is new to the company. Okay. All right. Does anybody have a different answer from the one that has Claudia? Or it's correct, the answer. She's the new worker. She's a new worker, okay. That is in other words. In other words, she is a new worker. Okay, thank you. And um, let's see, Dolores, can you please help me with the question number two? Read it and answer, it, please. <sighs> Who, who is the person in charge of introducing new employees to the company? Is Mr. Rai? Is he in charge of or is in charge of human resource? Okay. And her your or her your new chief? Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, the pronunciation of this WH question is who? 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 Who is the person? Okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah. And what about in your companies, guys? Who is the person in charge of introducing the new employees and introducing the policies in your workplace? Who is the person in charge? Human resources or your new boss? Human resources. Human resources, okay. Yes. Um, human capital mm -hmm. is new name. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Dennis. Another opinion, guys? My In case your is the manager. The manager, okay. Manager. Okay. Maybe he shows you the, the place, the new co-workers, and everything, Edwin. 
this. Okay, thank you very much. So uh, right now, guys, we are going to have a brainstorm practice activity. We are going to do this activity together, guys. And well, the activity is about creating a vocabulary list of instructions that can be given at work. Uh -huh. Can you think about what kind of instructions can be given at work or you have in your workplace? Okay. For example, if you need a permission, uh -huh. yes, you, you should send email to your boss. Send an email to mm -hmm. your boss. Okay, thank you very much. Another uh, instructions, guys, that you receive maybe for the first time when you began working in the company that you are right now. What is something that they told you? Mm -hmm. What is something that your boss, the manager, or human resources told you? Here you have the example that Oscar gave. If you need a permission, you should send an email to your boss. Another option can say, um, we can say, eh, avoid late coming. Avoid late coming. Evitar llegadas tardías. Evitar llegar tarde. Avoid late coming. Or in other words, not to come late to work, okay? That is an instruction and you need to follow that instruction, right? Mm. So another, can you think about any other instructions that you receive in your workplace? Or comply with the, with the policies? Okay, uh, let's see, you say, uh, uh, the norms. Okay. Yes. Well, uh, tell okay. Me. Tell me. Security something. norms. Okay. Security oh, norms. Okay. Yes. Okay. Fulfill with the policies. Fulfill. The policies. Uh huh. Policies of the company. Company. Mm -hmm. Company. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, Susie, okay. can you repeat, please? Susie? Susie? Susie, Susie, are you there? Did you hear what she said? No? It sounded like sharp or something internet connection problems maybe okay well she's gone teacher oh, yes tell me turn off the lights when you uh, don't use the meeting room turn the lights off uh-huh when you use them when you don't use the meeting room. The meeting oh, room. You. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you very much. That is another instruction. Very good. Another one, guys. Take care of work tools and assets. Okay. Thank you. Take care of work tools and assets. Okay, thank you. What is something else that your boss or human resources people told you for the very first time besides this? Is there anything else that we are missing? Uh-huh. 
¿Hay algo que se nos haya quedado o solo nos dijeron eso? Mm. Uh, no, Miss. No. No. Are you sure? Use uh, always use the ID. Uh, use always the ID. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, that is important. And uniform too. Ah, okay. So we say wear always the uniform. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, that is that is good. Do you wear uniforms? Do you wear uniforms in the in the workplace? Yes. Okay, very good. And you, Carmen, Lourdes, do you wear uniforms in your companies? Yes. Sure. No. Okay. No. In my case. Uh -huh. Sorry, Carmen. Don't worry. Uh -huh. Aha, Lourdes. In your case, yes. In, in my case, yes, uh, from Monday to Thursday. Ah, okay. And Fridays? It's casual, casual, close. Ah, okay. That's mm -hmm. good. All right, guys. So if we have no more, uh, no more, no more uh, instructions to add here, we can continue. All right. So as you can see here, guys, we have this. Let me make it a bigger, a little bit bigger for you. So here we have procedures to request permission at the DAC company. DAC company is just an X company. I don't know if it exists or not, but well, we're going to use this as an example because after that. Yes? Sorry? Did you say something? No? Okay. I heard something. <laughs> or I, I, I'm listening to voices in my head, maybe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So as I was mentioning, uh, we have these examples for this company, that company. Procedure to request permission, okay. These are basically the steps that you need in order to ask for permission in your workplace. Number one, Carmen, can you please help me read it from one to four? Okay. Procedures okay. to request permission. One, first, print the request form that is available on the internet. Okay. Two, fill out the form. Three, write the reason for the permission. And four, write the time and date you will be absent. Okay, perfect. Always, always you will find that we need the step number two to fill out the form, right? Here, Mm, maybe this is a mistake. Maybe we have internet, internet, okay? First, print the request internet. form that is available on the uh. internet. I don't know if this happens to you that most of the workplaces have a form on a website. Okay? Uh. Maybe on the website you will find that. That means internet, internet, okay? Uh, internet. That is a mistake. Teacher, yes. In my in my company, we have a internal site that we know as an intranet. Also, May, yes, maybe for okay. is the reason because okay. all, so, all people say go at the intranet. Okay. In the intranet. Intranet. Yes, I I heard that before. Okay, but most of the cases, for example, I'm going to use myself as 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 an example. I remember that in the past, we used to have this uh, on the internet, on the internet. Okay. We have a web, uh, website page and, well, what I, what I did when I wanted to ask 
for a permission, I log in the internet, then I download the form and fill it out. That's what I did, okay, but on the internet. Yes, they say we don't use the internet because it's more common to use it, the word in internet, you know? But yeah, that's right, Carmen. I heard this before. I heard this before, that it's correct. Some call it intranet, some others just call it internet, website page. The important thing is that you have the form, the form to sign in the permission. All right, thank you very much. So guys, you see step number one, number two, number three, that is uh, you need to specify the reason for asking the permission. You need to say why you are going to be absent in the day that you want that permission, all right? And also I remember that in the past when I used to work in another place, they, they gave me a form and in that form there were like uh, eight different types of permission. Some of them say, personal permission, a mission permission, a is permission, and the other ones I don't remember. I don't really remember, but they, they were like about a different type of permissions. And in those forms, the idea is for you not to specify, because if you, you have to go to the doctor, you go to is, right? So you only put an X on the is permission. You don't say, oh, it's because I need to go to the doctor. No, you only mark uh, is and that's it. You don't need to specify. But I have seen some other forms in which you need to write down where are you going to go and what are you going to do there and what hours you are going to be uh, in there. So that is a lot of information, but that depends on the companies, all right? Uh, also, the thing that I was mentioning, write the time and the day that you will be absent. And number five, from number five to number nine, Lourdes, can you please help me? From five to nine. Okay, specify if it is due to medical or personal reasons. Mm -hmm. Number six, ask for the department manager's signature. Number seven, present the form at the human resources office. Number eight, the human resources assistant will receive the form and sing, and sing it if it is accepted. In number nine, if the, res if the human resources assistant does not accept the form, the permission is den denied. Okay, thank you very much. So here you have some other steps and the things that I was mentioning to you before, you need to specify. The specifications for some companies are truly mandatory to know, all right? Because that will depends on your performance at work. Maybe imagine that you are about to get a promotion. You are here, but your boss wants to put you in another level, but you are always telling, can you please give me permission for the next Monday? And you are always asking for permission. Do you consider that your boss is going to change that level? Yes. No, right? Yes? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Because in so many cases, responsibility is the key. All right. And let, let's see the other one that Lourdes was mentioning. You need to present the form at the human resources office. And, but nowadays, I guess that we use the internet, we use technology, everything is about technology nowadays, right? Because of the pandemic. So we use the technological resources. 
All right. And after that, the human resources assistant will receive the form and sign if it is accepted. Well, in this case, I'm going to use again myself as an example. Um, I have a supervisor. And if I had to ask or request for a permission, I filled the form and give the form to my supervisor. Then my, my supervisor is sign it because she accepted. And then she took the form to the human resources boss. After that, the human resources boss signed it too. And those are the levels, the steps that I used to follow in the past. And maybe some of you follow too. Nowadays, as I mentioned, everything is online. All right. And well, they notify you if your permission was accepted or not. All right. Um, let's see. Do you have any questions about the procedures, the steps that we need or that we recommend to follow in order to request permission? Yes or no? No? Okay, because right now we are going to work on this activity. And this is something like, um, I need specifications as well. I need you to fulfill with all these procedures, okay? Let's see, what is this about? Number four, make a list of situations in which you could request permission, okay? Think about the situations that probably are personal situations or maybe you have seen those situations in your co-workers, not exactly on you, but on your co-workers, okay? But if you want to share with us your personal uh, situations about when you requested a permission, it's okay, no problem, all right? You are going to write here a list, not only four, I need five, five, because Sometimes there, there are different situations, not the same. You're not going to tell me, teacher, I only ask permission to go to, to the doctor. No, maybe some other times uh, you ask for, for permission when you have to take your children to a school because somebody in the house can't take them for you. So you request this type yes. of permission, all right? So those are yeah. some examples. I know that you have some more examples and that's why this is the space for you to write the situations in which you could request for permission at your workplace, all right? You are going to I share this the in the permission. groups, all right? Yeah. And when you finish identifying the situation, guys, you are going to think about this. Look, a colleague, what is a colleague? A colleague is someone who works with you in the same area, okay? A colleague needs permission to be absent from work. Explain him the procedures in your company and help him, her, fill in the form, all right? In the group, you are going to create, the, this is an example. It doesn't mean that you have to create something similar like this. No, you can take this as an example. And if you want to add more information to this form, you can do it, go ahead. So for example, it's mandatory to have the name, the day for the permission, the reasons, the manager signature and the human resource assistance signature as an example, all right? But I know that there are different forms in the different companies and therefore I'm telling you that you can use whatever model of this permission form, all right? So I don't know yes. if you have any questions so far. Um, no, miss. No questions. No questions. Okay, so uh, let's see, I'm going to... 
Yes, tell me. No, 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 no. No questions. All right. Nope. We are going to work on this right now. I'm going to send you to the breakup rooms. And, well, let's have fun. We have time. Room three. Susie, you don't have a group, right? Okay, give me a second, Susie. I was with Edwin and, and Eduardo. Eduardo and Edwin, okay. Yes. You can go. Hi, Miss. Hello. I see Hello. that you are working. Yeah. Yes. Uh, very hard. Yes, because <laughs> I need a quality job for tonight. <laughs> of course. <laughs> always, teacher, always. Okay. The yes, best, I know that you do quality works here in the classes. The best so, yeah. way. Right yeah. now, we are going to try to discuss in English. Try, guys, because tomorrow, the last day, and then... After vacation, you're going to be in module number six, and you are going to be speaking full English. I promise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good too. Yes. And in are you our teacher? Teacher. Well, I don't know yet. Mm -hmm. I don't know yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I wish I was. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So mm -hmm. let's work. Okay. 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 Number four, make a list of situations in which you could request permission. Mm -hmm. Entonces vamos a hacer una lista. Va, una es por enfermedad. Por ah, sería illness. así literal. Eh, como, como solo, digamos como solo la palabra... La palabra como por enfermedad o digamos como, como, como una situación. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. In my case, well, for example, I want this uh, has permission for access to a concert. <laughs> <laughs> No, pero ahí vamos a poner como personal request. No. Uh, sí, porque son cosas como personales. Por ejemplo, yo no le voy a decir eso a mi jefe, ¿verdad? porque me va a decir ni loca. <risa> pero sí le puedo decir como, mire, tengo asuntos personales y, y necesitaría que me dé permiso. Entonces, como personal request para mí. Uh -huh. ¿Es eso en inglés? Ajá, como permiso personal. <risa> In English, are mute. <laughs> no, teacher. <laughs> Personal request for me. Personal request. Mm -hmm. y creo que, creo que... Eh, por ejemplo, yo, eh, digamos, las pocas veces que he pedido permiso sería porque me he despertado enfermo. O sea, de la noche a la mañana mare mareado, por ejemplo. Uh -huh. uh, ese es el bueno. ¿Cómo? Illness, no, ¿verdad? Illness. Uh -huh. Illness. Illness. O oh, I wake up sick. I wake, we, uh, sick? I wake up sick. Wake. What, is the, what is the past tense of wake? Woke. Eh, woke. Exactly. I woke, woke up sick. Okay, I woke up sick. 
other reason may be uh, when you uh, when your family or uh, how when your family are died pero cómo se podría decir teacher a family a family death como en general death ajá ah family death o a relative death relative death variante okay relative death mejor es mi caso solo me lo darían si es de quiero ver ajá abuelos papás o hermanos nada más okay yes in my case me too. Uh, el, no falta. Pediatry for my consul the daughter. Repeat, please. Oh, uh, the. Vamos a ver. Go. Go a uh, consul medic. Oh, the pediatric. Uh -huh. Is is you you take your your daughter to a yeah her daughter. A, ah, okay, so yeah. you say health uh, or yes is yeah. you can have is. Ah, okay. Is permission. Is permission. Is permission. Okay. And that okay. is because you are sick. Somebody in your family is sick. That is the or... general idea. Okay. Uh -huh. Or uh, other example. Or written is for a bank pre pro procedure procedure. Mm. Uh -huh. it, it may be personal requests. The concert. Bank procedures. Um. Yes. Yeah. Personal procedure. Procedure. Come on. Tramite. Uh -huh. Personal. Procedure. Okay. Personal. Mm -hmm. Personal request. Uh -huh. yes. mm -hmm. Now with the exercise five. 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 Name okay. Danny Fuentes. Okay. <laughs> okay, but wow. in in that case the the format uh, no. Okay, guys. Uh, sorry for interrupting you, but how many how many situations did you have listed? Five. Can you tell me which are those? No, four. Personal request. Personal, Ill mm -hmm. Personal request. Illness. A fam a, a relative death and is permission. Okay, can you please be more specific on the personal permission? Remember that here you aren't in your company, you are in the workplace, but what are mm -hmm. some ideas uh, to ask for a personal permission? Okay. For example, uh, Cesar, Cesar, yeah. Cesar said, Cesar said, bank, uh, procedures. Bank. Mm -hmm. okay. bank procedures, yes. He say that. So, what is another one? Uh, when you travel another country. Okay. Oh. Travel. Traveling purposes. Uh -huh. Yes. Purpose. Attend concert or assist concert. <laughs> Metal heavy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Go to yeah. a concert. Have fun. Payment. Fun. Uh, supermarket. Uh huh. So, yeah. teacher, I don't want to go to work tomorrow. Teacher, I'm going to ask the permission. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't feel ganas, teacher. I don't feel ganas. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> you, you also you need play. to add one more. What? Please, uh, you need to add one more. Uno me les haría falta porque tienen cuatro más. Ya dimos dos ideas en los permisos personales. Ahora, uh -huh. 
Yo quiero que me den otra situación en la que es correcto pedir un permiso. ¿Qué tipo de permiso se pudiese pedir? ¿Ok? Una diferente a las que ya vimos. Ajá. Ya tienen cuatro, pero pudiéramos agregar uno más. Por ejemplo, eh, accident a car o un traffic mm -hmm. accident. Ajá. Good option. Very good. Yes, that yes. one. Estaría mm. bien esa. Yes. Y recordarles que los tres tienen que llenar una permission form. Los tres. Ok. Ok. okay. okay. Sería la, la yes. en, en number five. Yes, the number five. Everybody yes, the, in the group. The other, the other example. Mm -hmm. apply, oh, apply for the visa. The visa. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, the visa. Yeah. Visa. Mm -hmm. You apply mm -hmm. for visa. Okay. Yes. The next, the next week. You. Personal yes. request. Wow. Yeah. No, Dennis. Dennis is going to apply to get the visa. <gasps> oh. Yes. Real. Okay. Good luck, Danis. Ahí yeah. nos no cuenta, Danis, cómo le va. <laughs> okay. Okay. Very good. So let's continue. Let's continue working. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay. Sería. Esa sería para la... Con esa complementamos. Si quieres complementémosla. Porque con esa... Con, vos llevas tres, ¿verdad? Yo llevo dos. Haríamos las cinco ahí. Ah, pero casi que se parecen, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. Es tu director today. Y tú tienes una similar. Ajá. Yo le puse... Medical appointment. Okay, yes, ah, casi que se parece a la tuya. Well, you can have is, you can have is too. There are some forms that have is, general, is, or medical appointment. Mm. That is good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y si good. quiero poner to, to attend. The other one. Of, to attend. Que, as, Así se pronuncia, teacher. Commitment. 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 Yes. Compromiso familiar. Mm -hmm. Okay, a family. Ah, commitment. Family commitment. Okay. Commitment. Mm -hmm. Se me lengua le traba. Commitment. <laughs> okay. okay. Bye. ¿Y cuál era la tuya, Nelson? I need to take my mother to the hospital. And the other is, uh, can I go to the school of my son? Mm -hmm. Okay. You Only can have, you can three. have different. Yes, you can have different. Remember, Dolores, yeah. Dolores mm -hmm. has hers and Nelson has him. Okay. Dolores mm -hmm. tiene las suyas y Nelson tiene las de él. Luego las compartimos, mm -hmm. que es lo que ya estamos haciendo en grupo ahorita, ¿verdad? Okay. Carmen, where is Carmen? Okay. She's absent. Carmen, eh, le surgió un inconveniente. Teacher. Oh, ok, ok. Don't teacher, worry. I'm sorry, I have a, a, a call from the office. Ok, a, don't should... worry. Okay. Don't worry. Okay, so yes, after that, guys, uh, you are going to share. You share. Very good. Now uh, you are going to you're going to explain what are the procedures in the company. We are going to suppose that, for example, Dolores is the boss. And well. Nelson wants to work with you, Dolores. Nelson quiere trabajar con usted, va a empezar a trabajar con usted. Entonces usted le va a explicar a él cuáles son los procedimientos, los procedures en su compañía que él va a tener que seguir si requiere de un permiso. ¿okay? Y van a crear mm -hmm. la fichita de permiso que les proyecté. La van a llenar 
Y uh -huh. van a poner ahí como un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Name, Nelson. Eh, uh -huh. Date, la fecha que quiere el permiso. Reasons, uh -huh. okay. para que lo ocupa. Uh -huh. eh, si pueden especificar en las razones, estaría chévere. Ok, pero sí, eh, lo burde tendría que, ex, perdón, Dolores tendría que especificarle a Oscar cuáles son los procedimientos que se siguen en su compañía para pedir permiso. Y luego viceversa, ¿verdad? Nelson va a explicarle a Dolores cuáles son los procedimientos que se necesitan en la empresa de él para pedir un permiso. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. So that, is the, that is the activity right now. Ok. Vaya Nelson, entonces. Hi Miss. Hello. Hello Miss. How are you doing? ¿Cómo me le va? Good, we finish. Really? I'm tired, uh... Yes. So you create the conversation, you identify the reasons, you create the form. Conversation, teacher. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. No, 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 ahorita la conversación no. terminaron no va estamos acá va. Jimena okay listen Edwin can you see can you see the screen yeah yeah yes, okay Fermi all right listen I'm going to explain again number Jimena. one Number one, identify the situations. You identify the situations. Okay, for example, number one. Uh, is, I need permission to go to a medical appointment. I need to go to the is. To get All right? sick? So, so you write down is. That is a type of permission. Yes, we do yes. that. You finish. All right. We yes, we finish. make five. Thank you. So, can you share with me those five? I can tell you. I can tell you, okay? Yes, tell me. Permission for colleague meetings. Permission for COVID vaccine. Mm -hmm. Permission to go before a trip. Permission for legal procedures. Procedures. Okay, very good. Thank you. Pero ahí no estamos especificando, digamos, si me dice legal procedures. What type of legal procedures? Getting married, eh, having, having a baby, and you have to go to the city home, a sentar a un bebé que acaba de nacer. Eso es un proceso legal. No. Casarse, divorciarse. Mm -hmm. Go to the jail. Acquire a car. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. So those are legal procedures. Or go to the bank. Okay. I need the specifications. Necesitamos las especificaciones de cada, de cada uno. Okay. When you finish that, cuando terminemos eso, yeah. nos venimos para la parte 5. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Aquí está I'm la sorry. indicación. Okay. So, a colleague hey. needs permission to be absent. Explain to him the procedures in your company and help him, her, fill in the form. By aquí hey. nosotros vamos a suponer, yes. vamos a suponer, bueno, estamos eh, Edwin y Susi, ¿verdad? Yeah. Okay. Viene sí, Edwin. Uh, ¿Está Eduardo acá? Sí. Okay. Bye. Entonces seríamos tres. Viene Edwin y le dice a Susi, hello. Suponiendo que Susi es la, la, la jefa. ¿verdad? Hello, Miss uh, Susi. I need to ask for a permission. Bueno. Eh, y luego viene Susi, ¿qué tipo de permiso? Y, y se da la conversación, ¿verdad? Yo Para lo que lo no necesita. Uh -huh. Oh, I, I do. Only a explication, o sea, así como individual, solo lo dije como una explicación. You will complete the form and process the authorization signature. And I, I write in the, in the, 
el cuadrito. Uh -huh. the, the name, the date, uh -huh. the reasons, and who signature. Okay. In this case, manager Eduardo and human resource Edwin. Okay. Do you remember this? Eso tendríamos que, que incluirlo, ¿verdad? O sea, como los steps. Yo le voy a comentar a Edwin. Yes. Yo sí le voy a comentar uh -huh. a Edwin. The steps to ask for permission. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pongámonos sure. en un escenario. Okay. Pongámonos sure. en un escenario. Edwin necesita el permiso para mañana, pero ahorita ya salimos de trabajar. Ya casi son las 10. Entonces le habla Susy, Susy, I'm sí. sorry, I, I, need a, I need to request a permission. O sea, vamos a inventar la conversation. Eh, porque estos casos yes. suceden okay, en la vida okay. real. Y ya de ahí él le dice para qué lo yes. quiere, qué va a hacer y todo eso. Y de ahí Susy le dice, ah, pero recuerde cuáles son los procesos, ¿verdad? Y le recuerda qué es lo que él tiene que seguir para no pedirle a último momento el permiso. ¿Ok? So you need to use this. All right. I don't process. remember that. Okay. Okay, and also you have to fill in the form. También pueden llenar la form, que acá está. Teacher. Yes. Yes. In my yes. case, uh, the form is in reason. Mm -hmm. I need day off, Tuesday, uh, 3rd August 2021, for to get vaccine COVID-19. Okay, to get the vaccine, COVID-19. Okay, yes, that is that is a good reason to ask for permission. But what type of permission is that? ¿Qué tipo de permiso sería ese? Uh, Official mission, mission oficial. Is uh, they for what? Uh, they ask for uh, a sick. Okay. I will call it official permission. Permission for Ah, yo lo llamaría eh, misión oficial. Mission, official mission. Official mission. Misión oficial le llamaría yo a, a ese permiso, pero no sé ustedes si lo quieren poner como medical appointment, una, una cita médica, y ya después Susi le dice, uh, can you give me more details? Deme más detalles. Edwin le comenta, I have to get the vaccine for COVID-19. And you continue the conversation. Okay. Ya, ya me dio okay. mi idea. Okay. 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 Como Let's work. Eh, como todo salvadoreño olvidadizo. Hey, se me olvidó avisarle que para mañana tengo la cita a las 8 de la mañana. <laughs> ¿Pero es verdad o no, Edwin? No, no. In my case. Uh, yes. Uh, Pass. La, last week. Ah, last uh, week you finished. Yeah. Okay. And you feel good or you feel bad? You feel bad, right? Se sintió mal. Ya. Yeah. I remember. ¿Y qué, eh, qué fue lo que le dio en sí? Fever. Eh, fever se dice. Fever. Ah, fever. Fever. Eh, dolor de cabeza. Ganas Headache. de vomitar. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo es dolor de cabeza? Headache. Headache. Se escribe G-A-D-H. G-A-D-H. Fever. Fever. Medio y vómito. Bueno, náusea más que todo. Ah, ok. No, andaba bien irritado ese día, no quería nada. <risa> ok, pero ya pasó lo más complicado. Ahora le falta la tercera dosis. No, la segunda. <risa> ah, la, la segunda. Sí, sí era la primera. Porque según leía las noticias, van a poner una tercera dosis que previene sí. la, la otra cepa. Eh, pero eso es en los de AstraZeneca, creo que son los que le van a poner esa. No, Pfizer. Pfizer. En uh -huh. eh, my case es Moderna. En uh, my case es Pfizer. Pfizer. <risa> ok. Ah, ya. Yeah, eh, for... It means the China. Sinovac. China. Sinovac. Eh, okay. eh, de por ser profesora fue de las primeras, ¿verdad? No, I recently get it. Recientemente me lo me voy a poner. Ah. Uh -huh. ah, ok. Yeah. Como ahorita, 18 ahorita, años, dice. 18 ahorita años. todo es desde casa, de los 18 años. Ya quisiera yo. Ya quisiera yo. Regresar a aquellos tiempos dorados, dice. Lo voy a tomar como un compliment, como un cumplido. Ok. Yes. All right. You look young. You I look am young. A little bit, but not that much. Okay. Okay, let's continue. Okay. 
Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Edwin. Yeah. You are the employee. La parte del formulario. Sí. Hey. Hello. We Hello, teacher. The, the form. You fill in the form. Okay, let yes. me share with you the same that I was telling to the other groups. Eh, le voy a compartir lo mismo que les estaba diciendo a los otros grupos. Okay. Okay, some, some students told me that they finished. They say, okay, what are your, what are the situations that you have? Les pregunté cuáles eran las situaciones. Um, personal permission, eh, medical appointment, eh, legal procedures, eh, what? Eh, something else, okay. Bye. Me lo dejaron general. So I need you to identify the specification. Necesito que especifiquemos un poquito más. Okay. Si yo hablo de que voy a pedir un permission for legal procedures, eh, procesos legales, todo se me puede venir a mí a la mente como jefa de alguien. ¿Será que tiene antecedentes? ¿Estaré involucrado en algún robo o okay. qué? Ok. So... We, uh -huh. we need to, we need to specify legal permission. Uh, okay, teacher, well, I'm not your uh, boss. You, I need to go to the bank because I have a problem with my account. That is a legal procedure, un proceso mm. legal. Necesito ir al banco porque tengo un problema con la tarjeta. Con la, con la cuenta. Uh -huh. Ajá, con la cuenta, yes. So... That is the specification. Ahí estoy dando ya la especificación para la primera situación. Aquí All right. hicimos una. Uh -huh. when, I, aquí hicimos una. Uh -huh. when I accompany my mother to the doctor. Okay. When I take my mother to the doctor. Okay. Tú. Vaya, el tema de esa... De esa Situation sería entonces medical appointment. Mm -hmm. Medical appointment. Ok, medical appointment, dos puntos. Eh, to take my mother or a relative to the doctor. Esa sería la especificación. Number three, you continue. Y continuamos con el mismo eh, parámetro. ¿no? When you finish that, remember that I need five. When you finish that, what you need to do is something like a conversation. Van a ser una tipo conversación entre ustedes tres como grupo. Podríamos decir que Oscar es el jefe. Ana, Yancy y Claudia son employees que necesitan to request permission. Entonces vienen, se acercan a Oscar y le, le comentan que necesitan un permiso. Oscar viene. Y les dice, ok, remember the procedures. Aquí están los procesos, los procedimientos que vamos a llevar cuando necesitemos un tipo de permiso. So, he, he maybe selects some of them. Va a seleccionar alguno de ellos porque no sé si cumplan con todos o, o solamente por cuestiones de práctica. ¿verdad? Ustedes seleccionan los que más se ajusten al tipo de permiso que le van a pedir a Oscar. Ok. Luego, eh, después que les haya hablado de esos procedures, ustedes le dicen, bye, ok, lo vamos a tomar. Y ahí le dan más información a él. Luego, él les va a decir, please, complete this permission form. Completen esta hoja de permiso. Eh, se la voy a describir. Y empieza ahí, Oscar, ¿verdad? You need to write down your names. Eh, when you are going to be absent. What are the reasons? Eh, then you sign. Y luego me firma. Okay? Una tipo como conversación. Me explico. Ok. Claudia. Ok. Anayan, si estamos bien, ¿está ahí? Yes. Ok. So. Entonces, ¿terminamos o no terminamos el ejercicio? No. No. 
Ok, so we need to prepare this. Vamos a preparar esto entonces. Les voy a dar unos 10 minutitos más para que lo preparen y luego lo vamos a compartir en clase. Todos los grupos van a presentar esta noche. Ok. okay. So let's work. Ahí me le explican a Oscar porque no sé si escuchó la, 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 la explanation. Ahí está Oscar. Ok. Ah, uh, I'm turn off the camera, I don't know. Okay. Why. <laughs> okay, pero sí se entendió, Oscar, lo que vamos ah, a hacer ahorita. Yes, okay. yes. Okay, so let's continue working. Okay. Eh, quiero ver. Hi, Miss. Hello. Ahí estaríamos. You finish. No, yes, no, so you finish. Can you show me what you have for the exercise number five? Because the other one we checked it together. Uh, ah, what do you have? Can you please read it? Okay. Forma. Ajá, uh -huh. what do you have? ¿Qué tiene? Vamos a ver eso. ¿Qué tiene su teacher? Sueño, hambre. Ya la tiré de la teacher. Eh, pues, ¿cómo? ¿Qué quiere que le leamos la... el, el formato? La en lo, que, lo que hicimos para cada uno de nosotros. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Le leo el mío o el de alguien más? Ok, wait. Preparamos la conversación también, ¿verdad? Acá, en esto que. Acá estaba la, 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 la instrucción. Aquí tenemos la indicación. Vaya, ¿Llenaron el permiso? ¿Sí lo hicieron? Para la, de, la sí. Vaya, pero eh, todo esto tiene que tener un escenario, una situación. Oh. Por ejemplo, Danis es el jefe. Lourdes y César le van a pedir permiso a él. Correcto. ¿Okay? Llegan mm. donde, donde Danis. Hello, eh, boss. You know, we have a problem. And you, you specify. Ahí le especifican. Viene Dani y le dice, oh, me lo están pidiendo con un día de anticipación y así yo no tengo quien lo sustituya. Entonces Dani ahí le mete como cuáles son los procesos que ustedes necesitan para solicitar un permiso. Tres días de anticipación, llenar el formulario y así, ¿verdad? No sé, algo creativo. ¿Ok? Ok. Ah, okay. que nosotros se lo planteamos como los escenarios, no así <risa> literal como lo dice usted, pero, pero sí digamos. No, no hay forma general. de conversación, digamos. No. No, ajá, no como diciendo, con, no como yo llego y yo le digo, ajá, sí, sí, no. Ajá, no, ajá, lo que necesitamos es interaction, interacción. Claro. Quiero ver opción de este grupo. <risa> okay. no, pero aquí tenemos el grupo, no se preocupe. El grupo de los superpoderosos. Okay. Yes. Sí. Okay. Let's minutos tenemos? Five more. Cinco más. Ah, yes. I can finish. Uh, perfect. No, no problem. No problem. Okay. No. Okay. Hello. Hello. Como hello. Hello. Eh, Danis. Hello. Hello. Y luego Dani me dice hello, Lourdes. Hola, oh, Dani. ¿Cómo estás? Hi, César. Hi, I'm fine. It's a beautiful day. Pero vamos a anotar la conversación, ¿verdad? Yo sí, anotemos, no. anotémosla, porque si no, no nos pasaría. No me voy a olvidar ella, no me voy a poder improvisar. Sí. Uh. No, pero la teacher, o sea, ya va a ver que no nos va a preguntar. <ríe> Ay, sí. Yo pensé que ya se había ido. Is, is. No, in this case, everybody, every group will participate. Esta noche sí, todos los grupos van a participar. Okay. Oh, <laughs> my God. Okay, uh, go ahead. You have time. Todavía tienes back, tiempo. Uh, the mirror. Okay, okay. Vaya, pero es que primero um, el escenario. ¿va? Para mí, uh, eh, yo voy... Mira. Yo voy donde Dani. Ajá, y le digo como, eh, Dani, necesito... Eh, comentarle algo y de repente Dani me dice, ajá, ¿qué pasa? Y yo le digo como... Let's try in English. En inglés se va a ir más bonito. Ya va a ver. Yes, yes. Entonces, Dani, Dani, tell me, 
eh, what's wrong or what's happened and, and I, I say um, Cesar and me eh, have uh, need a, a, a permission eh, hagámoslo, hagámoslo, hagámoslo como más interactivo Uh -huh. el, saludo, el saludo cortito esto vuelven ustedes con que necesitan el permiso y you need a has per, per, permission uh -huh. ¿Eh? permission yo, permission, yeah, permission. Eh, yo, whatsapp ¿Sí? ¿Sí? O podría ser ajá, o algo como que participa, vamos a participar en un seminario de capacitación de INSAFOR. Entonces, los dos a la vez vamos a ir a pedir permiso a Dani. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Entonces, matamos dos uh -huh. pájaros de un solo tiro. Uh -huh. Vaya. Entonces, es decir, ¿y ahí quién iría? O sea, los dos al mismo tiempo, César. Los dos al mismo tiempo porque tenemos que pedir el permiso a ambos. Ok, vaya. Yo de... And uh -huh. and and send in the five minutes. Okay. <coughs> well, I hope that you will find okay. 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 Thank you, Carmen. Okay. Welcome. Uh, hello, Dolores, if you want, you can switch the, the conversation with Nelson or with me. I don't know what you want. Please continue to hold for the next available specialist. Hi, Miss. Hello, you're finished. Um, falta poquito. ¿Cómo se dice falta poquito? Almost, almost. Almost. Almost, okay, almost. Hello, Miss Susie. Okay. Hi, Mr. Edwin. What can I help you? I need to ask permission for tomorrow. What happened? Are we okay? I forgot appointment for COVID-19 vaccine. This is important to you. You can go. But always remember we follow the producers to avoid problems with human resource. Okay. okay. Uh, can you please uh, make a correction? Only that we will make. Sorry, teacher. Uh, can you make a correction in the second line? Hi, Mr. Edwin. How can I help you? How Hi, can I help you? Uh, how? How? You. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh okay. you, are an, you are an idiot. Yes, that's right. Hey, <laughs> teacher. The problem How there, Edwin, Edwin, there is the, the, the dot. El punto le hace falta ahí, por eso es que se lo tira así con la. Ah. Uh -huh. Thanks, teacher. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you finished, right? Yeah. Okay, so we are going to come back to the main room. Okay.
Hello, welcome back again. We are Same going to me. have the show time. Right now yes. we have a show time, guys, and we are going to we are going to share this in the groups. The group yes. number one, let me see. The group number one is Carmen's group. Carmen's group. Can you please share with us what you have, the situations, and after that, the conversation that you practice? Yes, of course, teacher. Uh, the, the five sentences or the five situations are the following. First, to get up feeling some illness. Second, to assist to my daughter's school meeting. Third, to go to the hospital for COVID-19 vaccination. Four, to attend a family commitment. And five, to go a training in another place. Okay, thank you. Now, let's role play the conversation. Okay, with my group, Elton, are you there? Claudia. Yes. Okay, okay. Claudia Nelson, okay, Nelson. Uh, hello, Nelson, how are you? Hello, Carmen. I'm fine. Okay. Tell me. I have a problem. I what need the permission today. I have to go to the doctor. I am sick. Oh, really? What are you feeling? I am headed. Okay, I'm sorry for that. Okay, I'm agree with you. Uh, what time do you need to go to the doctor? I need to go to the doctor uh, today in the afternoon uh, at two o'clock. Okay, okay. You have time to to fill the form, the absent form. Do you know where is the absent form? Yeah. The form is in the in the website right the right excellent well you have to fill in and write in here the name your name the day hey, your you can give me a second please sorry i have a okay, okay. so thank you nelson you were working with carmen and claudia right and dolores Dolores, okay, and where is Dolores? She's not here. Como no, aquí estoy. <laughs> okay, Dolores. <laughs> Very good, so you don't participate in the conversation, Dolores? No. Oh, okay. Let's see, thank you, Nelson. I guess that Carmen had a problem. All right, Dennis, can you please show me what you got with your group? Yes. Go ahead. Uh, hello. Oh, Cesar. Cesar in the right? Yeah. Hello. Yes. Hi. The best group. Superheroes <laughs> group. The superpoderosos. The superheroes. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Number four. Yeah. Uh, for example, in my case, is. Uh, request permis permission of a personal the a a concert in the Urdes. Okay. Urdes? Yeah. Okay. And number in number four illness or a family death. Mm -hmm. Cesar? Um Tell me. Uh, for a bank uh, procedure. Okay. Or uh, accident traffic. Yes. Yes. Okay. Number five, Miss? Yes, number five. Yes, number five. Okay. Okay. Hello, Dennis. Hi, Cesar. Hi, Lourdes.
Uh, what's up? Tell me, what's up? <laughs> Continue, sir. Okay. Dennis, we need a permission. Oh, what is the reason? Because Cesar and, and me have a conference, a English conference. Oh. When do you need? We need a uh, permission tomorrow. What? It's very short time. <laughs> Peter, for, uh, for help you barring other time, the most request of permission the three days before. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Danis. No permission. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Bye. Okay, no permission. He con, he con, no. he con el ánimo, o sea, hasta lo dramatizamos, okay. teacher. No permission, pero Danis fue el culpable, dijo no permission. ¿Por qué no le dieron los tres días de anticipación? Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much for your participation. Thank you. Uh, now, Oscar's group. Oscar's group. Oscar. Hey, Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Really, ready. <laughs> Number four. When I accompany my mom to the doctor. If I have an emergency with my car. Uh, when I'm late from morning uh, traffic. Ana Yancy. Um, when you are a sick. If I show to my children at school. Uh, number five. Hello, Oscar. Hello. How can I help you, Claudia? Uh, I need I need a permission that he must do. Ah, okay. Uh, you can go with Anna Yancy. She can help you. Oh, thanks. With the, per with the permission form. Okay, finish. No. No, Ana Yancy. Claudia, usted me pregunta a mí. Vamos por... Hi, Claudia. Okay, hi, hi, Claudia. I can help you. I want a permission. Ah, okay. Uh, take the four to explain the reason. Uh, I am a sick. I should go to the doctor now. Mm, it's okay. Finish, teacher. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. ¿Cómo anduvieron a la pobre niña? Quiero ver. Ana ya, no, Ana ya sí era la que daba el permiso, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? ¿No? Claudia, ajá. ¿cómo la anduvieron? Vaya para allá. Venga Yo anduve para. para. Ok. Ok, thank you. Perfect. And the last group, Susy and Edwin. Susy and Edwin. Ok. Okay. 
Uh, ring, ring. <laughs> Telephone. <laughs> Hello, Miss Susie. How can I help you? I need to ask permission for tomorrow. What happened? Are you okay? I forgot appointment for COVID-19, but see. Ah, yeah, the win. This is important to you. You can go. But always remember to follow the procedures to avoid problems with human resource. Uh, the follow the apologize of the case, I will remember is for future permits. I hope so, Edwin. Finish. Good night. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. You did a great job. Hoy sí le metimos toda la energía. Okay. Sí, es que teacher, ya es viernes y el cuerpo lo sabe. Ya casi es viernes y el cuerpo lo sabe. Y, y vamos a terminar y vamos a ir al, vamos a ir yes. al siguiente módulo, teacher. Por eso estamos contentos. Ok, muy bien. Tuco Beach. So, let's see. Tuco Beach. Tuco Beach yes, is a celebration. Yes. Vamos a ir yes. a celebrar el Tuco Beach in a celebration. Ok, yes. thank you, guys. Thank you. So, we are going... Ah? No, I, do, I don't speak Spanish. I don't speak Spanish. I don't understand. Okay. <laughs> In my house, um, I am cut. Oh, ah, cut. Yeah. No, para yes. dice Ana <laughs> Ah, mariscada. mariscada. Okay, very good. Yeah. Yeah, specialization. Oh, oh. Specialization. Speciality. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, guys. So tell me, what did you learn today? What did we learn today in class? Can I need comments about the class? Request permission. Request permission. Uh -huh. Request the best for, for the best for. Uh -huh. for, yeah. for request permission. Okay, request for permission and the form. Yeah. Very yes. good. And the procedures, right? Yes. Okay. So thank you guys. We are going to stop here. I'm going to pass the attendance list for the last time. Make sure that you stay present. Uh, Alfonso. Present. Alfonso. Me contestó Alfonso. Alfonso. Estoy soñando. Estoy soñando. Okay. Okay. Aquí estoy. Okay. Ana Yancy. Present teacher. Carmen Lisset. Present teacher. Cesar Heriberto. Present teacher. Claudia Lorena. Present teacher. Danis. Present. Dolores. Present teacher. Eduardo. Eduardo, not here. Edwin. Present teacher. Okay, Fidel. Karina, Karina is not here. Eh, Katia. Present teacher. Lourdes. Present. Luis, not here. Nelson. Present teacher. Oscar. Present. And Susie. Okay. So guys, thank you very much. Uh, remember, do not miss class tomorrow. No me vayan a faltar a la clase de mañana, que mañana vamos a realizar la encuesta del INSAFOR. Mañana es el último día. So, faltaba más cuando empezamos que ya para mañana terminar, ¿ok? Así es que, have a good night and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Nice. Nice. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Goodbye, nice. everyone. Nice. Have a nice night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Dennis, you stay with me. Yeah. Okay. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Has this uh, has this has this on? I feel a good night. Sorry, um, teacher. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. I have a problem in the office and I have to cover it. Okay. Ah, okay. No in problem. A little bit. I'm sorry the black, because the black exactly. Piece. 
Thank you. I see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, Dennis, how are you? Oh, I'm fine, Miss. Very good. Okay. Well. So thank you for being here tonight with me. We are going to practice a little bit. And oh, thank you. thank you. Tell me, you like a lot yeah. the Tupa beach, right? Yeah. yeah. It's your favorite uh, beach. Yes, I know. Uh, my favorite beach is uh, Beach the Blanc or Costa del Sol. Mm -hmm. Or the the water is calm. Mm -hmm. No, 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 it's strong. No, it's strong. Yeah. Okay, so you go every weekend there. Uh, right now is the River City. You are in the beach, no? <laughs> right now. Right now, really. Right now. So you have yeah. a beach house. No. No, are it's you a, you in the in the mother-in-law house, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so tomorrow, you work. Uh huh. Tomorrow I work. So uh, she has she has a house near the beach, and you work near the beach. Yeah. Wow, that is incredible. <laughs> that is incredible. <laughs> okay. It 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 is amazing. It is amazing. Having to see the, the sun going down, la puesta del sol, sun going it's down, it's you know, or the sun rising. Yes. Okay. Yes. It's beautiful, right? Uh, I, the 5, 5 a.m., mm -hmm. the walk, or the walk, the walk. In the morning. Uh, for, in the morning for mirror hour. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, that is fantastic. Okay. With my with my pet. Aha, uh -huh, with your pit bull. Yeah. <laughs> okay, very good. So tell me, Dennis, um, what is something that you did yesterday? The repeat, please. What did you do yesterday? Uh um in the morning, the morning as uh, attend the, the person of TV mm -hmm. for film video, the process industrial for make a product. And the astronaut, yeah, the astronaut, the meeting for capacity of and the training training with auditor mm -hmm. is auditor uh, auditorium auditorium is iso oh oh yes yeah. iso yes. the rules i am i am auditory ah okay you are um, having a training with iso yes no no is is for the country Chile mm -hmm. is special, special. Specialist. Special. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, that's interesting. I remember that I received long time ago, like two years ago, uh, a training in that ISO. ISO was the ah, topic. really? Yes, ISO ah, 19, okay. 19 something, something like that. Yes, I don't really remember because I didn't like that topic. <laughs> I didn't it's like it. Very see, yeah. Yes, it's interesting, but it's a little bit boring. It's, it's boring for the clausel or capital. Mm -hmm. yeah, I so like what are the topics that you like? What are the topics that you like? They mm, use our. Uh, a user cool uh, show is very important day and day or recovery the como como 
bichos. Okay, idioms. Idioms, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sayings, uh -huh. Yes, interesting. Okay, and yeah. well, what are your plans for the next weekend? Uh, for one hour, the practice um listen mm -hmm. or speak in improve 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 uh, for pre prepare the the next module uh -huh. is is okay sea more fácil el otro modo mm -hmm. to be easier yeah Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, you need to practice a lot because the next module is module number six. That it's means... Very hard. Huh? It's very hard, the next module? Me? No, um, I don't know. No. No, I don't know. I'm not sure. Ah, okay. I'm okay. not sure. Uh -huh. So, well, but you should continue. You need to continue. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You need to continue till the end. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. And well, in the vacations, what are your plans for this August vacation? Uh, in August, only one day is August six. Oh. No more. Only one day. Only one day. Um. This I like in Friday. I will say six is Friday. Uh -huh. This is. Uh, weekend free. Okay, not five. Three, no, three years, three days. Okay, yes, Friday, yeah. Saturday, and Sunday. And Sunday. Okay. Yeah. Well, we don't know if we are going to have the amusement park in, what is the name of this? El, 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 ¿Cómo se llama? El, el parque de, de diversiones. Consuma, Consuma what? is the name. Ah, uh, mm, I don't like. No. No, no, um, only beach or the mountain. Ah, okay. What mountain. mountains? What mountains have you visited? Our uh, the volcan of. Do you know Cerro Verde? The the Cerro Verde. The, yeah, Cerro that is Verde the name. Or the other volcan. Cerro Verde is the same as uh, Las Pavas. Yes. Yes. It's the no, same. No, no, no. It's different. It's different. Ah, okay. It's different. It's different. Okay. Las in... Pavas is in Cojutepeque, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, Cerro Verde, Sonsonate. Son, 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 Sonsonate. Ah, okay. Sonsonate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, oh, the, other, the other beach. Okay. And have you gone to Laberinto de Apaneca? Oh, um, no. No, 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 no flower. Uh, it's, it's interesting. It's a beautiful place. I was yeah. there. I was there two or three years ago in the past. Really? Before the pandemic. Yes, because I uh, like to walk too. Mm -hmm. It's really right now. Right now is our travel. The mm -hmm. the agencies. Mm -hmm. You will yeah? travel. Mm -hmm. okay. No, no, I, I know, I know. Es, ya, no hay, ya no hay restricciones. Ah, no, uh -huh. no, there are no, no restrictions. No restrictions. Mm -hmm. Yes. But I heard in the news that the airports are closing and also the frontiers are closing. Uh, because why? of Delta, Delta, COVID Delta. Yeah. Ah, yes, the new, the new variant, variants, variants, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you vaccine? Uh huh. Vaccine? You, you yes. vaccine? Yes. yes. Today, today I have the second dose. Really? Yes. And you? Uh, in the July twenty one. Oh. Okay. Yes. The, the second uh, dose. Second, second. Ah, okay. Second dose. Okay. Yeah. So no effort. No, no sick. No, no sick. No. <laughs> no. 
Me neither. I'm not sick. I am happy. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, well, Dennis, thank you so much for being here tonight. I really appreciate no, it. Thank a lot for you. Okay. Do you have any question or something? No, miss. No. No. Thank you. Okay. No. You will take your pit bull pet tomorrow early uh, in the morning for a walk. Sleep. Sleep. Ah, she sleeps. <laughs> yes, Is she or he? He. He. Ah. He. And how he. old is he? What? How old is he? Uh, One old. year, two years? Ah, uh, two. Two years. Two years. Okay. Two years. Does two it years. have babies? No? No babies? Baby. No babies? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. Okay. No. <laughs> what about the girlfriend? He has a girlfriend? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, very good. So he is not angry. No, no. Is no is uh passive? Quiet. Very passive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very. Okay, quiet. Okay, so thank you so much, Dennis. You finished the platform? Yes. Okay, yes. very good. Uh, I'm, go I'm going to check all. that. I'm going to check that. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow, thank you. Dennis. Okay. See you tomorrow, Miss. Okay, have a good night. Bye, good night. Bye bye. Bye.